I'm Isabella. And I'm Derek. Welcome to the Catskill Summer Media Camp Virtual Film Festival. This is the first year that we won't be premiering our films at the Catskill Community Theater. Virtual this year and back to normal next year, hopefully. We usually welcome our guests to the show and introduce ourselves as the theater fills. So this year we will let you know a little bit more about our student creators as they introduce their film. We've learned so much from camp. And it was so much fun. Our teachers at camp helped to make it a great experience. Media camp uh, started about 16 years ago at the elementary school. Started one little room during the summer with a few cameras and a few computers. And that grew into a whole studio that we uh, created at the high school campus. It's wonderful to see the, the awesome job that both Mr. Hernandez and Mr. Lavera are doing at both the elementary school and the high school. And this year we're excited that we'll be having a media club at the middle school as well. We have very high expectations for all of our campers, from producing weekly news segments for our cat chat to making films for our festival. We're very fortunate to have professional recording equipment and professional editing software as well. Our campers learn to produce, film, and edit all of their own videos. Our campers have been outstanding this summer uh, and a real pleasure to work with. This program is very special to Catskill. Special thanks to our superintendent, Dr. Cook, our Catskill Central School District Board of Education members for the support of this program and the confidence that they have in us to implement this program for our students. We will start this film festival with our final news segment, introducing our new high school vice principal. And now on with the show. Hi, my name is Kellen and this is Catskill Media. What's your name and how do you spell it? My name is Miss Bratt and it is B-R-A-D-T. What is your job title? I am the new high school assistant principal. Where are you from? I'm from Cohoes, which is near Albany. What school district did you work at before Catskill? I worked in Cohoes as well as living in Cohoes before coming here. Why did you decide to become an assistant principal? I was a math teacher and in about my ninth year I decided that the math was important but helping the whole child is more important than just the math. What is your favorite thing about being an assistant principal? Working with students, which is why I didn't want to just be in the classroom and get just certain students. I wanted to be in the whole building and get to meet all the students. What advice would you give a Catskill student? I would give the advice to a Catskill student to soak up every minute of being in school. What do you think about the new renovations at Catskill High School? I, this is as I'm just starting, I don't know what it was before, so I'm excited to see what it's going to be when they finish. <laughs> what kind of skills do you bring to the school district? I am a very energetic person and I think I bring that energy every district that I go to and it's going to be no different here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. This is Kellen for Catskill Media Camp. We hope you enjoy the premiere and come back to view it again and again. Thank you to all of our parents, teachers, and school district for making Media Camp a reality for us. Enjoy the show.
Hey, what should we do today? I don't know. I heard there was an abandoned school across the street. How'd this happen? It was a normal day of school, and everyone was there, and then everything went black. No one else was there, just sitting there all by myself. There was loud noises, and it was scary, and I just sat in the corner all by myself for a long time, until you guys came. I'm so glad we were able to help you. Thank you for saving me. Welcome back to CSPN. My name is Kellen Kozlowski. I'm reporting on today's phenom, Sawyer Bulich. He is a new basketball superstar that has been getting a lot of attention lately. A fantastic point guard with fantastic skills for his age. Out of Catskill, New York, the home of another champion, Mike Tyson, he is expected to go first in the M NBA draft. Arguably, he's the top talent in the draft, an immediate impact player. Hi, I am Adam Silver, NBA Commissioner. Welcome to the 2021 NBA Draft. For our first pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons Select from Catskill, New York, 6th grader Sawyer Bueller. Hi, I'm Leo. And my movie is called The Maze. What inspired me was the school kind of looked like a maze from the hallways, and it kind of was creepy in some like darker spots so I thought it would be cool to make a horror movie called The Maze. Uh, we used a green screen effect and a black and white effect. We For the green screen we made like a yeti yelling at the screen but it was black and white so it looks like a horror like creature thing. Uh, enjoy the film festival.
hot garbage. What kind of movie is this? He's got their terrible filmmakers. They'll never make it in a film festival. Yeah, you're right, but they do look a lot like us. That's strange. Still trash, though. Minecraft is so easy. It's easier than school. Why can't we just do Minecraft instead? I don't get school. <laughs> Where am I? A block? 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 I'm in Minecraft. use this as a sword. Oh, hi. Who are you? What's your name? I don't know. I don't know how long I've been here. I'm gonna call you Stevo. Okay. A leaf block! You can't eat leaves. That sucks. We need some apples. We're hungry. It's getting dark. You don't know. You don't want to know what the nights are like here. But there's too many of us. We only have one. We got to hide. Since Steve died, Steve, I shall avenge you. Steve-o, you were a good man. I'm sorry, Steve-o. Steve-o. I have acquired another axe. I think I'm ready to avenge you, Steve-o. It's almost the second night. I need to be ready. Is that Steve-o? Steve-o! 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 Wait, I think I know who he is. He's a zombie! Steve-o, I'm sorry! Steve-o, I can't have water Steve-o, I'm sorry! He never answers when I call on him. Steve-o! 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 It was a dream! Ice cream review. We reviewed a local ice cream shop, Stewart's Shop. We even tried different flavors of ice cream. We had vanilla, chocolate, and cookies and cream. I even added sprinkles to my chocolate ice cream. It made it taste even better. Overall, we had given the ice cream a 10 out of 10. It was delicious and creamy, perfect for a hot day. It was so much fun trying ice cream today. Thank you, Stewart's, for the ice cream. We can't wait till our next reveal. My name is Willow Moorhead. The name of my film is The Mistress's Missing Shoe. I was inspired by a lot of old detective film noir type movies. I uh, used a lot of my editing skills that I learned here in Media Camp. I hope you're all enjoying the film festival. Mistress Phoenix was a wealthy broad with a lot of money to spare. I was chatting with her as we sat on the stairs of her lavish apartment. Her wealth made her well known around the country. No one would try to cross her. At least that's what I had thought. The two of us believed we were alone when the criminal struck. What happened? 
Mistress, are you alright? Yes, I believe I'm fine. I just... My shoe! It's gone! I was appalled that someone would dare steal the shoe of dear Miss Phoenix. Truly a master criminal had struck. I swore to her that I'd get the shoe back. I swear to you that I'll get your shoe back. Oh, thank you, detective. I don't know what I'd do without you. I quickly began the search. I searched high and low, but the shoe was nowhere to be found. I interviewed every suspect I could. I know you stole the shoe. Fess up! I just want to go home. But I couldn't find the shoe anywhere. I'm sorry, Miss Phoenix. I can't seem to find your shoe anywhere. It's all right, Detective. You did your best. Wait. Hold on. What is that? This... this isn't your shoe. This is my shoe. Nothing made sense. I had so many clues and yet none of them seemed to line up. It felt like the answer was right under my nose. But wait. If this is my shoe, then... My shoe! And so the case of the mistress's missing shoe was solved, and with no real thief at all. Turns out I had the shoe on the entire time. It must have slipped on during the panic when the lights went out. I'm just glad this case is shut for good. Um, detective? We have gin next at 9.45. What time is it now? It's 10. We gotta, gotta go. go. Why, hello, girls. Hi. We're 15 minutes late. Oops. It's oh, been sorry. three times this week. Let's go. Last. Jumping jacks. Quinn, you have 50 more jumping jacks, and Isabella, you have 30 more push ups. Now that we got gym class out of our way, we can go on for day. I'm Lila. <laughs> the name of my film was Dad Jokes. We were looking things up and trying to find ideas on what to do, and we just saw something random like a website, and it kind of went off of that. We had to refilm it like three times. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy the film festival. my dad what we were having for dinner last night. He said fake noodles. When I asked what they were, he said they were impostos. I 
told my dad we were learning about Earth's rotation in science. And you know what he said? He said that rotation makes his day. I went over to my dad to ask him if he was making lunch, because I'm hungry. He said, hi, hungry. I'm dad. My dad asked me if I knew about the kidnapping at my school. When I asked what happened, he said the teacher woke her up. The worst one I heard was when we were watching the news. He said a man walked into a bar. I asked for the punchline. He said that the man said, ow. Hi, my name's Bria. I was in Pirates Most Haunted, X Girls, and Spy Girls. In Pirates Most Haunted, I wanted to be in a scary movie. So I was in that. I chose Spy Girls because I like to spy on people. And X Girls is like, um, sort of like a superpower. I hope you enjoy the film festival. I'm so bored. I wish class was over. So awesome, I have powers. I wonder what other powers I have. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh my God, I could hear you, but only in my head. Wow, I can't believe we can talk through our minds. Wow, so cool. Let's see what powers we have. This is amazing. This is amazing, we have powers. We could use our powers for good. Not me. I want to have the power. Oh, no you won't. Meet you in the hall. Can you hear me? 
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? so much I wish everything could be chocolate. I have an idea. I'm gonna throw this chocolate bar into the creek and maybe it'll turn into chocolate milk. Summer Media Camp 2021. And thanks for watching.